One of the best things to do in Minsk, the capital city of Belarus, is to spend a night at the National Academic Bolshoi Opera and Ballet Theatre. It combines Belarusian culture and history with a fun night out. We went to see a ballet performance of The Little Prince and were lucky enough to be invited behind the scenes, so of course we're taking you along. It's the main music and theatre stage in Belarus and the largest theatre in the country. The design of the theater was inspired by Roman amphitheaters, and it's a popular place for wedding photos. Perhaps because, in my opinion at least, it looks like a tiered wedding cake. During World War II, Minsk was almost completely destroyed, but the theater survived. One bomb hit it, but it didn't explode. It only damaged part of the roof. Inside the theater, however, nearly everything of value was taken by the Germans. The sculptures that dot the exterior look as if they've always been there, but in fact, they're a relatively new addition. They were added during the last reconstruction of the theater, which took place from 2006 to 2010. Each sculpture is about five meters tall and weighs about five tons. Inside the theater, there's a lot that goes on behind the curtain. There are actually six floors underground, bustling to get everything ready for showtime. I was so excited to visit the hair and makeup room, where you see the performers being transformed into character. The theater's current repertoire includes 29 operas and 34 ballets, so you can imagine the creativity that goes into creating the hair and makeup looks for so many different performances. Not only that, but the theater produces about 25 shows a month. That's a lot of hair and makeup. The backstage area is also full of prop treasures. I loved looking around, trying to guess which show each prop belongs to. There's also a ton of rehearsal spaces hidden behind the scenes. We were lucky enough to observe one practice room where some dancers were collaborating on creating new choreography. It's a good reminder of all the work that goes into putting a final production in front of an audience. We also got to stand on the actual stage itself, while some of the performers were rehearsing before the doors opened. You can see the discipline and skill behind every move up close. We are backstage at the Ballet and Opera in Minsk. These dancers are getting ready for the ballet, which will be performed on this very stage very, very soon. I can't wait to see it. I danced as a little girl, so this is bringing back a lot of great memories. The orchestra is over there. They're tuning up. They're getting ready. We just had the chance to see the costumes, the props, the hair and makeup room, all of the wigs, all of the dancers are getting ready to go. There is so much that goes into this production. Back out in the lobby, as ticket holders gather, you find crystal chandeliers and marble and granite floors. Inside the theatre are velvet curtains and enough seats for about a thousand people. There are details in here that you absolutely don't want to miss that make this theatre unique. Look more closely at the gold flourishes and you find the hammer and sickle throughout the decor. Like in the rest of Belarus, these Soviet symbols remain. The performance of The Little Prince was a wonderful treat, especially because it's a book I love. Having just been backstage, I kept thinking about all the people I'd met who brought their performance to life. The hair and makeup artists, the props department, the costume and wig designers, the choreographers, and so many more. The hard work of so many is represented beautifully by the onstage performers who make it look effortless. It's mind-boggling to think that this theatre has produced more than 20,000 shows in its history. The curtain has fallen, what an amazing production! Yes. It was so wonderful to see all of the elements that we got to see backstage come together, the costumes, all the dancers with their hair and makeup done. And this building is so historic, it survived World War II and there's gold everywhere. Yeah. Incredible ornate details and the chandeliers yeah. are magnificent. And this theatre seats over a thousand people and it was sold out tonight mm -hmm. and often it is sold out so if you want to come see the ballet or the opera in Minsk which you definitely should it's such an amazing night oh, out so in this fun. city then make sure you check ahead and get your tickets in advance do not miss out on the chance to experience the Bolshoi in Belarus with performances almost every night the chances are good you'll be able to see a ballet or opera while you're in Minsk 
For more on visiting Belarus, make sure to check out the rest of our video series, including traditional Belarusian foods to try, the coolest and most colorful part of Minsk, and an extremely moving memorial called Hatin that I think everyone should visit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and remember to subscribe for lots more travel adventures. Thanks for watching.